So good evening, good evening, good evening. I fell asleep. I fell asleep. I fell asleep, guys. Well, I lay down for five minutes, rest my tired eyes, and I just woke up. <laughs> this is part and parcel of getting old. It's all part and parcel of getting old, guys. This is what happens when you hit your 40s. It is long, but anyway, it is what it is. We are here at 46% on the vote. We'll end that. I actually remembered this time. You lot are saying Sheffield United won one with Chelsea, are they? Is that true? Wow. There we go, guys. But we will be here for the dagger. Throw my Chelsea. Throw my Chelsea in the bin. Now we just need this lot to get in the bin. We need Forrest to score. Yeah, we need Forrest to score. Smash these likes up as well, guys. Yeah, Liverpool fully bowled it. Fully bowled it. Clock was fuming most of the way through the second half. Which is always fun to see. Always fun to see Klopp flipping out. Let us share that. We need the forest dagger, guys. That's what we need. We will be there, guys. Alame. Alame. That's it. Go on. Mm. Yeah, we need uh, we need Forrest to get the first goal. That make it super lively. <laughs> the Brennan Johnson derby, guys. What the fuck is this? Doing? Why is everything such hard work, man? Seriously, what is this doing? I did the update on my Mac yesterday, and ever since I've done it, this has been running mad slow. This is why you shouldn't do updates. They're a pain in the ass. Forrester away. Yeah, cross it, lad. That's some dead cross, man. What is this doing? Yeah, this is running mad. Ever since I've done that update. Turbo Timo is in the box, guys. And Forrester cleared it. All right, let's go, guys. I'm going for a draw, predicted a draw in the last game. I reckon Forrester win. 
I reckon they'll do them. A yeah, very good weekend for us. Very good weekend so far. Yeah, bro, I never understand why people say, oh, but they checked it so quick. That's because it weren't a clear and obvious error. I don't need to show a billion replays if it's a clear and not a clear. Yo, go on. Oh, I thought it was in. Nah, I thought he'd lobbed him, man. Oh, my days. Inside his own half, he did a David Beckham, lads. Oh, man. Three yards wide. Vicario was well off his line, man. That would have been funny if that had gone in. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. <laughs> that would have been too funny, man. These spuds to lose. Bro, I'm saying you, it could happen. It could happen, man. Get these likes up, guys. Come on. Why does the famous cockle look like a chicken? This Levy and Enoch mascot. Chicken on a ball FC, top spurs. We deserve that for, for that to go in. It would have been good, wouldn't it? It would have been good. That's what happens when they play a high line with a keeper a billion yards off his line. Ooh, bubbling around corner, Spurs. Chris Wood, Bush. Fair play for trying. Yeah, he was miles out as well. He was in, well inside his own half. That would have been goal of the season. <laughs> Big up Mario, man. <laughs> Three yards wide, though, unfortunately. Well, at least I don't have to sit here until midnight, one o'clock tonight. This game's going to finish in, what, an hour and 40 minutes? Hour and 40. Oh, I could have an early night, man. Proper early night. Oh, dear. Brother Saka played like a League Two player today. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, at least they got the draw, man. They got the draw. I'm happy. We'll take it. We'll take it. But, but it means more, guys. It means more FC. We got Benno, man. My club final a defeat in IX 6 0 today. Today is a good day. Big up to you, man. I see, I see, I didn't see the game. I see the um see the score and the stats. Jeez, man. 30 shots to one. Thirty shots to one. I am tired, man. I am knackered, but at least I can have an early night. Thanks for the super chat, Benno, man. Six nil as well. Crazy, bro. Honestly, three. Uh, all six goals came in like thirty-two minute period. That's it. Go on, switch it. Ah, oh, come on, man. Yeah, I am tired, man. I am tired, but. I'm going to have a nice early night. I'm going to watch the rest of the City documentary. Got four episodes left of that. So I'm going to have a nice little early one. And um, back on with Saeed tomorrow. Then on with Kenny and Jez. I'll have an upload on here. There's no football tomorrow. So I'm going to meet one of my pals. Going to have some food and some drinks and that. Happy days. And then back on it on Tuesday. working for rifles <laughs> favorite type of food i don't really mind bro i can't lie probably a curry i don't know i'll go through phases phase one phase two <laughs> phase one phase two phase three 
not happy with the draw. We were robbed. Should have been two one. Won't see them talking about the dive on TV. I've I thought um the penalty was harsh. I can't lie. I don't think that was a penalty. He didn't touch him. Turbo Timo has just forced an own goal for fuck's sake. Mario nearly scored the goal of the season. It's just put in his own net. Oh, man. Notice anything in the background, guys? Notice anything in the background? Fucking wangers. Tell me he's offside. And top spares are one nil up. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. Tell me he's off. <laughs> Checking possible offside. Well, show us him in the picture then, you prats. He's on. I think he's on. The geezer at the top's keeping him on. He's keeping him well on. Go. Oh, Get these likes up, lads. Come on. Get these likes up. We're on 47 likes. That's fucking embarrassing. I said, what a finish. <laughs> He finished that better than Timo Werner's finished any chance he's ever had. It's the Brennan Johnson and Nuno Espirito Santo derby, guys. We need we need a we need a dagger. Happy Destiny Toki take, guys. Oh, nearly 2 0. Basuma with an effort wide. We've unlocked him. I had minerals is going to be fuming. <laughs> yeah, it's mad how these numpties don't get clipped up as much, isn't it? I don't get clipped up as much as us, mate. People forget their bad takes. Do you know what I'm saying? And they're absolute shockers. People forget that. I had somebody, yeah. I see, I looked at some, um, just looked at my analytics about, well, before I started the Man United game, I was looking at my analytics on the main channel. And somebody's gone all the way back to a video about when Arsenal were linked to Kai Havertz before he we went to Chelsea and put, what are you saying now? <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, yo, he looks all right. He looks decent. I'll take him at Arsenal. And then he went Chelsea. And I was like, nah, 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 nah. We've dodged a bullet, lads. Go on, shoot. Straight to keeper. Yeah, literally gone back to a video from four years ago. Four and a half years ago. Yeah, what are you saying now, you mug? What I'm saying now, mate, is that uh, at the time he was good at Leverkusen. And then we've seen a three year sample size at Chelsea where he's been stinky. That's what these people do. They like to take the past, the present, merge them together to make out you were wrong or they were right. This is what they do. We have to rewrite history in that. All right, Turbo Timo is on the ball, guys. He's giving it away. Shock. He's so predictable, man. All of these wingers are predictable. All right, come on. We need a dagger. Just relegate him. You know about the stabbing outside the stadium. When was this? When was this, bro? I didn't see it, Bob. Get these likes up, man. These likes are horrendous. 59 likes.
These likes are not good. Last night. Wow. Well, it is Tottenham, which is a bit of a dump. I can't lie. <laughs> so I'm saying, bro, people have to take stuff from four or five years ago and make out that, oh, yeah, but you said this and what? When I said it, it was right. So when people try and always say to me, you wanted Ryan Fraser at Arsenal. Yeah, Ryan Fraser was better than Alex Awobi at that point, mate. What are you waffling about? Like, do you know what I mean? These people love to chat shit. Like they've not got Eddie and Ketty as their profile picture. Like, it just makes me laugh, isn't it? Don't surprise me. It's the UK. Facts. Facts, bro. I said I'm on loan to City until the end of the season. <laughs> Mad. They posted about on Tottenham Twitter, did they? Madness. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? Why do these men move like an opinion can't change in half a decade? You're a flip-flop. <laughs> You're flip-flopping. Now, big up to everyone locked in, man. We uh, we need an equaliser. We need to see the goal of the season from Mario. He nearly scored from inside his own half. And then he's put in his own net. But he's uh, won the ball back. He's over halfway. And now he's giving it away by hanging on too long to it. But they've got it back. Yeah, they are on the spectrum, bro. Proper. Right, I'm going to get a beer, guys. Get this guy a beer. When did Tottenham last win, Sank? Um, nearly 17 years ago. Go on. Go, 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 go. Foul. How's that not a foul? Mad. Right, I'll be back in a sec. I'm going to go and get a beer. No daggers, guys. No daggers. No daggers, guys. This one should be booked for diving, should he? Turbo Timo's just put a great... Oh, Brennan Johnson, what a save. Madders. Son spanked it. These footballers are trash, mate. No skill whatsoever, have they? None of them. Forrest on the counter. Van der Ven has won the ball back. He's won the ball back, guys. Oh, nice. Lovely jobly. Should do some MLS streams. The problem is they start about 3 a.m., mate. I ain't got enough time. I need sleep. One day Ramos, you know. 
16 years. We now have supporters who are learning to drive or going into college and university and have never seen Spurs lift a trophy. <laughs> oh, dear. Mad, isn't it? Actually crazy. Can't lie, that United dagger hurt like a bro. I swear, when I see Mino score that goal, I was like, "Wow, what a goal, lads!" But I knew, I knew Liverpool would get a goal. I knew it. That was a great save. Ben and Johnson should have scored. Kobe is a baller. Phone jacker. Yeah, that show was quality. The show is very good. All right, come on, Forrest, go. Cross it. What's the keeper doing? Is he doing a Superman force? What's that all about? You just see Ganduzi grabbing Dybala up by the neck. He takes off his shin pad to show Dybala. Nah, that's mad. We'll go shop for some beers. Go on, them all. Go on, my guy. Bush. City are going to four P. I still think they're favourites. I do. I, th I think they're just like too good, man. We still ain't got a hundred likes. This is a disgrace here, guys. So I'm Top Spurs have had eight shots to two so far. Eight shots to two. Forrest are in here, though. Go on. It's it. Get in. Chris Woodgener. Chris Woodgener. <laughs> Top Spurs muddied again. Bosh. Chrissy Wood, dagger. Get in. Get in, man. The Wood dagger. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> what happened there? Mad, didn't it? Look at that. Where was Destiny Adogi? Oh, he was he was left oh left for dead on the wing. Of course he was, yeah. And he just gave up. Okay, cool. Well done, mate. Happy Destiny Adogi Day, guys. World class Romero let it go through his legs. And then Porro got nuts as well. Comedy of errors. Put Benny Hill music over it, lads. The Nuno Derby is 1-1. We will be there, guys, for the winner. 1-1, guys. Chicken on the ball, FC. Mudded. Chris Wood. Christopher Wood, guys. I don't know why our line is so high. This is what you do, though. This is how Tottenham play. You'll concede another one. You might you might win the game, but you'll concede the second. <laughs> hey, Darren, you see that flag in the corner of the stadium, yeah? Right, is that what we're saying? <laughs> You see where them stewards are sat? Look, just where the score is, yeah? <laughs> I'm not going to anyone's streams. Every time I do it, I get demonetized. I'm not doing it. The last stream I did didn't get demonetized. So, yeah, I'm not doing it anymore. As, as fun as it is, as much as I'd like to, nah. I don't know why the Rangers Celtic game, maybe because I put Old Firm in the title, I don't know. But um, that's yellow. Bill Bama Yorker's green. Everything's green. They all go green the next fucking day, didn't they? But yeah, that Man United game earlier, that stayed green. So I ain't doing it again. I ain't as much as I'd like to share everyone else's streams and that, because it's funny, man. It makes good content. But nah. I need to get paid as well, guys. I've got, I've got bills to pay. I've got things I need to buy, things to save for. So there we go.
But anyway, guys, it is 1 1. We're here for the top Spurs tiers. Uh, where's Ghost? Where's Ghost? He's normally in the chat, giving it large. Where is he? <laughs> Boris Keeper's got some dodgy hair plugs. Gives Spurs a double unskippable. Yeah, but have some of that. Tell him, tell him, Sam. Forest Arabic Club. Brian Clough FC, Rob. Imagine Spurs playing like this in Europe. Could you imagine this lot up against Real Madrid? Oh, wow. They'd get absolutely slaughtered. Timo Werner, again, giving the ball away. Way too predictable. So easy to play against players like that. They're crap. Not a foul in ref? No? Okay. Who's post match and uploads them? I ain't got time, mate. I ain't got time. With all the watch alongs I do, I just don't genuinely have time, mate. That's a shout out to the mighty Posh. Bosh. Just won the EFL trophy at Wembley. Big up to them. Beat Wickham 2 1. Go on. I was an atheist, but the fact expressions is a Spurs fan proves there is a god. <laughs> Yusuf has given up on Liverpool, guys. Is that enough? Turbo Timo. And uh, that's ended up as a goal kick, guys. Chris Wood is a proper mid-table number. Do you know what? Chris Wood would actually do well at a bigger club. Who's that? Oh, that's fucking... What's his name in the crowd? What's his name? What's this fella's name? What's his name? What's his name, guys? <laughs> I look at that little boy. He's giving it a big and yeah. F you top spurs. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> he's like, yo. <laughs> that little boy is giving it large rub. Stuart Brawl does it. Big up the chat, man. That little boy weren't having it. He was saying an F off top spurs. Yeah, Chris Wood could actually um, could actually do very well at a bigger club. He'd actually do well at a Chelsea or a Tottenham or someone like that. Like, real talk, I ain't even taking the mick out of it. Go on, go on, go on, go, 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 go. Go, cross it, lads, cross it. Oh, no. Because he can score all different types of goals, but his, his actual build-up play and game play and link-up play and that is mad underrated, man. He's always been half-decent. When he was playing for Burnley, yeah, his gold record for Burnley was there or thereabouts the same as Lacazette's for Arsenal. Now imagine switching the two. If we had had him in our team and Lacazette was at Burnley, he would have gone up a level and Lacazette would have stayed at the level he was at. How tricky scored against Newcastle was mad. Yeah, that, that, that game was crazy. That, that hat trick was ridiculous though. His header the other day was good. Don't fall over. Oh, my God. Well done. Good super sub in that. Do you know what I'm saying? The English Giroud. Gosh. I was at Wembley when Bolton beat Plymouth last year. Green Army. <laughs> Yo, big up Akash, man. New style of play, Lee. It's called Chaos Ball. <laughs> it's all about the Chaos Ball. Do you know what I'm saying, bro? Got to have a bit of chaos in the game. Thank you for the super chat, brother. Always, man. Hey, right, come and square it. It's it. Oh, what a save. It's it. Oh, my days. Oh, you missed. Just as I'm picking him up, he misses a sitter, bro. That should have been 2-1. How has he missed? He's three yards out. Not even that. He spanks it 100 mile an hour off the post. He was onside as well. Oh, wow. How has he missed that, mate? How has he missed that? He put way too much power on that. Yo, big up the deer as well. Most underrated player from City, Arsenal and Liverpool. Um, 
from City, I'd say the most underrated player at City is probably Nathan Ake. From Liverpool, Harvey Elliott. Right, Werner's on the ball. Where's he going with this? Right, he's giving it straight back to uh, the goalkeeper for a goal kick. <laughs> Kicked it straight out of play. And for Arsenal, Trossard. And thanks, man. Good question, bro. Very good question. Yeah, would hit the woodwork, bro. How has he? How has he missed that? Things Liverpool still have, of course they have a chance, bro. Come on, there's loads of games left. There's loads of games left, man. Don't like listen. There's going to be twists and turns, man. This ain't this ain't like 2018 seasons and that, like where you're getting like 97 points and 99 points and all that shit. That ain't happening this year. In fact, what is the most points anyone can get? Whoops, what have I done here? Let's have a look. 92 points is the max. Arsenal and Liverpool can get 92 points. City can get 91 So yeah, 92 points is the max. I don't think, I think we'll, if anyone's going to win, whoever wins, well, somebody's going to win the league, of course. It's, whoever wins the league, I think will win it on about 87, 88. Yeah, there's tw plenty more twists to go yet. We've still got to play Villa, still got our way to Wolves. Still got to play Tottenham away, United away, Chelsea at home. That's a ball. Destiny a doggy. Destiny a doggy is having a mare, bruv. I said, get to 90 points, you win the league. You're probably right, mate. You probably are right, bro. How on earth did Adam Smith survive Sky's cold? Because <laughs> he never mentioned COVID. <laughs> 88, 89. Yeah, anywhere between. Yeah, anything over 87, I think I'll win the league. Wouldn't it be mad if we all ended up on the same points and it was done on goal difference? Like, that'd be crazy. Arsenal are definitely going to drop points. I think we will, but we can't afford to drop points in more than one game. Go on. Ah, Forrest are doing all right, man. Top Spurs have done nothing apart from a deflected goal and a Brennan Johnson shot. That's it. We fly to London. Will I fuck? It's a shithole. I'll be celebrating on the beach. Bosh. Expecting everyone to drop points at least twice. Not everyone. Not everyone. Anything over 87 will win the league. Anything over 87. So if we all win our games, Arsenal win the league. On 92 but I think we need I think we need over 87 so yeah potentially everyone could drop points but I don't think I don't think anyone's gonna lose more than one game I don't think it, maybe listen maybe nobody loses a game at all but a couple of draws each or saying there's definitely a couple of banana skins in all the all them fixtures for both or for all three teams so yeah maybe we could all drop points Emery's tricky, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. That's sandwiched in between the the two buying games, man. So that ain't going to be easy. Good defending, goal kick to Forest, flag in the corner. Do you know what I'm saying? Darren was loving life, mate. He was talking about it, like daggers and all of that a minute ago. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he was loving it mate he was loving it Arsenal drop points against United or Chelsea. I think we'll beat Chelsea comfy United away is always tough but Lee you're not allowed to celebrate London is a horrible city my dad was born there he was born in Lewisham and uh, he went back there the other week right in London he was working in London he texts me, he said, I haven't been to London for years. It is a fucking shithole. I 
So yes, anyone who lives in London, fair play to you, because there's no way I could live there. It's not party half TV family, guys. <laughs> Big up the deer, man. This is why you're my favorite. Ake was our best defender in the treble season. No one talks about him. Do you know what I'm saying? Like Trossard, bruv. Trossard's a baller. Ake is mad underrated. Nothing flashy. Just gets on with his job, bruv. Does his job properly. Go on. Like Chris would ball in. Free, that was a free kick. But yeah, Nathan Ake is sick, bruv. Top player. Thanks again, man. Always love, bro. Yo, Pamley's likes up, guys. Come on, this is getting ridiculous now. Big Ange looks stressed, bruv. Have another kangaroo burger, mate. Look at him, he is stressed. Don't rain because he played for Bournemouth, do you know what I'm saying? Yo, big up Gary, man. Happy Sunday, bro. Last time I went. Came home with a virus. <laughs> Probably a mutant virus. Literally southeast. Yeah, dutty south, bruv. That's where most of my family are from. That's where my daughter's mum's from and all her family as well. Catford, Lewisham, Deptford. It's not the one, guys. It's not the one. Big flange in that, you know what I mean? Real or City, low Arsenal will do great to get to the final. I'd rather play City. At least London is a sewage. <laughs> Northwest is mad. Yeah, mate. Last time I went Northwest, yeah, I see, I see it <laughs> literally in the space of about 400 yards down one street and then on the main road. Yeah, you know the little white um, tent things where there's been a murder? I see two in about 400 yards. There was one down a side street. Yeah, and then where are all the top spurs going? Look, where they all where are they all going? Where are they all going? It was like forest fans. Where are they all going? Yeah, I think it was forest fans. Yeah, one down the side street and then 300 yards further down the main road. Yeah, there was another one. Like, Mate, this place is wild. I'm from southeast as well. Anything south of the river, brother. Oh my days. I didn't pick it up at King's Cross <laughs> before someone asks. <laughs> I actually think we're spanked by in two or three nil. Remember that great? Women shocking in Europe. Might be a Kane hat trick. Mm. Mate, buying a buying are gonna be hard work. I can't lie, they're gonna be proper hard work. It's not gonna be easy, guys. Stepney Green and that. Jeez. Croydon. Oh, right, Croydon's wild. Yeah, Croydon is a different country, guys. Totally different country. Like, literally, it's like fucking... It's like a war zone around there, guys. <laughs> literally stabbing shootings every day. It's literally a different place. Do much of everything. Now I do my shopping on a horse. <laughs> on a horseback. Camden, Hammersmith, Richwood, and Greenwich. Yeah, Camden's nice. I like Camden. Like for a day out. I wouldn't live there. My mate Jay lives there. I wouldn't live there. It's nice for a day out. What are they VAR in here? What's he giving it here? He's asking, Yates is asking for VAR, guys. Since who made you the referee? What's going on here? World class Romero's kicking off. What's happened here, guys? What's happened here? Oh, yeah, they're trying. He's trying to get Madders sent off. Oh, yeah, he punched him in the ribs. Did he punch him in the ribs? Did he give him a little jab in the ribs? It looked like he punched him, innit? Greenwich. I haven't been to Greenwich for time. I can't lie. 
Camden Lock, Camden Market. Yeah, it's all nice around there, man. Like for a day out, but I wouldn't live there. How Jay lives there is crazy. I tell him all the time, mate. Croydon isn't that SE25. <laughs> Southeast, bruv. Yeah, Croydon is a war zone, man. Like it's just non stop, bruv. Like big up to anyone who lives there, bro. What do you think about Peckham? Peckham and Brixton. Yeah, they've rejuvenated it or renovated it. Yeah, Brixton's actually not a bad night out. Well, the last time I went there anyway, which was probably about six years ago. All right, well, Madders has got away with punching him. About a Milton Keynes dump. Absolute dump. How did Madders get away with that? Corners whips in for top spurs, cleared. Where do all the Russian businessmen live in London? Uh, probably Belgravia or Fitzrovia. <laughs> My sister's partner's from Croydon. Croydon De Bruyne and that, do you know what I mean? Been to Clapham. I haven't been to Clapham for time either. Johnson looks like Wes Brown and Deli Ali's love child. <laughs> Big Angie's stressed, guys. He's proper stressed. Why do I look so red on this? What's going on here, man? Young kids are looting are awful. They are, bro. Got away because he's English. Same way with guy gets away with it. Yeah, he, he looked like he punched him, innit? Northampton's a dump as well. Lobster Lee back again. Forest have done all right. They've done all right. They're holding their own, guys. That's a foul. Yep, lovely. They spent a couple of million on Crawley train station. It still looks rubbish. It's all in our hands. <laughs> and the market, me and the missus been. Covent Garden's not bad for a day out. That's not bad. Rodri or casted that. Imagine if Jack had done that on Yates. It'd be it'd be uh, deported. It'd be deported, guys. Cross it. Ooh, nearly. Corner. Come on, Garden. Yeah, it is overrated, but it's it's one of the better parts. It's actually not bad. Some little bougie restaurants and all that. But yeah, it's not bad. A little bit of entertainment in the in the um in the square and that, do you know what I mean? Edinburgh or London. The Edinburgh. London's good for a day out, but it's not a place you want to live, mate. How's your eyes now with the Dharmas? Miles better, man, but I forget to take them off. The amount of times I just go out with these on is crazy. And when I do take them off, I can barely see anything for about 20 minutes. So it refocuses again. How's Oxford? My grandparents lived there when my grandpa PhD at uni. Uh, Oxford is all right, but there's some shitholes around it, mate. Like parts of Oxford are just, nah. Can't remember the name of the estate there. Me and my mate went working there one day and it was just, wow. <laughs> like, like, literally, literally, it was a ghetto, bruv. Can't remember the name of the place. Long throwing. Keep a call cool here. I've never been Barca, so I don't know. Madrid's all right. Let's watch the pickpockets. Is it Banbury? No, Banbury's nice. Banbury's all right. It was actually in Oxford, but it was like, I don't know. I can't remember the name of the place in Oxford. It was an absolute dump. Blackbird Lees. Yeah, Blackbird Lees Estate. That's it. The Blackbird Lees Estate. That place is a ghetto, bruv. Absolute ghetto. Blackbird Lees. Big up Ron, man. That is a dump, mate. Absolute dump. <laughs> Honestly, that place is a shit hole. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. 
Here we go, guys. We'll share some pictures of it. It is a fucking cesspit. Here we go, guys. <laughs> nice houses, lads. Nice houses. Nice parade of shops. Be careful. You get mugged there. I don't know who he is. He, uh, crime rat. He's a rat, guys. Windrush Tower. The state of this place, man. Yeah, it's not very nice, guys. <laughs> it's not very nice. Hello, yeah, they've got the old build there. Armed police swoop. <laughs> yeah, we were working around there, mate. It was off key. I can't lie, it was proper off key. There's a there's an estate in Reading as well. I can't remember the name of the estate in Reading. It's on um what's the um What's the police program where they're, they're, the um, traffic coppers are driving around trying to catch car, like criminals and that? What's the fucking... Is it Road Wars? Sound like that. But yeah, I can't remember the name of the estate in Reading. We weren't there. Mate, it was crazy. Absolutely crazy, that place. <clears throat> they all had walkie-talkies. Like, so you drive into the estate. doesn't matter what end or which entrance into the estate you drive in. right? And there'd be a couple of little scrotes with walkie-talkies. Yeah, and they're just clocking cars, thinking that they might be old Bill. Yeah, because they were selling like it was all being filtered back via walkie-talkie. Yeah, and it was mad because like me and my mate clocked it anyway. It was like this is a bit off key, bro. Like why are they why are there little scrotes at every entrance? And um, it was funny because about a year later we see it on Road Wars, and it was because they were doing some weed operation or something. Fucking off key, proper off key, mate. The Orton's in Peterborough. Yeah, come on. My boy Tone's from there. Peterborough's a shit hole as well. I can't. England in general, guys. Yeah, England in general is not very nice. Yeah, the, the Orton's is not the one, bruv. What's the, there's another one. What's the other one in Peterborough? Corby as well is a dump. Yeah, there's one called the Lincoln Estate in Corby. Watch this. We worked around there, fuck, you know. That's the only place I've ever been scared knocking on doors for windows. Lincoln Estate in Corby. Yeah, guys, watch this. Watch this, guys. <laughs> Welcome to hell. <laughs> Look at it. Yep, lovely jubbly guys, lovely jubbly. Look at this. That's a pub, by the way. That one. That's a pub. <laughs> Look at the state of it. Look at this. It was all like little back alleys and side streets and that. It was crazy. Every other house was boarded up, man. Like little crack dens and all that. It was wild, man. The Lincoln Lincoln Estate, man. Unreal. Unbelievable. That place was wild. Look at it, man. Look at the state of that. Unbelievable, guys. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> It looks like it looks like Marsh Farm in Luton, bro. but on a whole new level. Yeah, trust me, it is next level. Yeah, bro, this ain't even a joke either. You were treading, you were actually having to dodge past them. I'm not even joking. Yeah, you had to actually dodge past them, Alex. Yeah, real talk, mate. Yeah, and then there'd be like a boarded up house. Like, well, there'd be loads, loads of boarded up houses in a row. Yeah, and then there'd be one house where someone lives in it. And it'd just be like little cul-de-sacs and little back alleys and all that wellingborough similar can't remember the name of the estate in wellingborough but they go and in corby as well the police go around on little motocrosses <laughs> through them alleyways and all that. it's mad a uh, proper off-key man proper off-key man did you see this quick clip about i ain't seen anything bro i've been working non-stop Looks like Swindon. Swindon's a shithole as well. I've worked in Swindon for a bit. And Basingstoke. A depressing place. <laughs> Lincoln Road. 
bro, bro, trust me, man. Some of these areas. But but why did you move to Spain, guys? <laughs> yeah, we don't get none of that round here, lads. Uh, Lee watched a podcast with Andrew Tate. That the hardest sales job is double glazed windows. Bosh. That's what you did. 21 years I did that. Bosh. I know what podcast that is. I've watched it. And uh, my boy Tal was uh, was his and Tristan's boss. Didn't know that, did you? Big up Tal. He'll be out here in 19 days. And it is odd. Proper odd. Proper chills. Oh, yeah, that's kicked off, isn't it? Is that, is that half time? Let's have a look, guys. Or is that second half? Did that kick off a bit earlier? Proper chills. Let's get proper chills on. Palmer assist. I'm just seeing it now. Hardly an assist, though. Bad boy finish, though. That's not really an assist, though, is it? It was a fucking 15-yard square pass, and he did the rest. Keeper, what is the keeper doing? What is the keeper doing? Mad. And so he hates the Tates. <laughs> They're not for everyone, I can't lie. Yeah, not for everyone, guys. Palmer surprised me as well. He's done all right, hasn't he? How'd you actually do it? Is it? Everyone already has windows, so how do you make people want to get new ones? Bro, not everyone's got double glazed windows. And if they have, their windows, some of them will be 20 years old, or they've got an aluminium patio door, or they've got a wooden front door, and they might want a um, composite door or plastic door. Just let it throw a piece of piss. Easiest fucking gig in the world, bruv. Well, probably not now since COVID and that. Yeah, but back then it was so easy, man. Too easy. And not everyone's got windows. And even if they have, yeah, they might have just moved in and they might have kids and they might have these, like, instead of having side openers, they might have these big push out bottom openers. And then they've got kids, they've just moved into the house. No security locks on the windows and that. So they, the kid can jump out the window. Piece, piece of fist, man. So easy. Too easy, man. I can suppose I finish fourth. Uh, no, I think um, I think Villa will. Palmer's been shocking, has he? Did you see Van der Ven in the first half? He's so cold, man. Where was he for the goal, bruv? Or when Van der uh, or when uh, Chris Wood hit the post? Where was he for them? What happened to Rolls Royce Ramiro? And Happy Destiny Adogi Day, bruv. Like they're dropping stinkers. What happened, bruv? At least you turned up, ghost. <laughs> look up the summer late in the state in Brixton. Have a look at that. I've heard of that. Oh, look at that. Oh, dearie, dear. Yeah, look at this, guys. I'm going to go for a piss after this. Nice, guys. Beautiful. Lovely. Fantastic. Yeah. Beautiful accommodation, guys. Even back in the fucking day, it looked a dump, didn't it? <laughs> this is wild. This is actually crazy, guys. Look at that. You wouldn't want to walk down there at night, would you? Nah. No thanks, guys. Not for me. Not for me, guys. Anyway, Pamney's likes up. We ain't even at 200. I'm going for a slash, guys. Uh, top Spurs are 1-1. Proper Chelsea 2-1 up. But Sheffield United, this is end-to-end -end as well from when I've put this on. Sheffield United are having a go. We will be there for the dagger. Go on. Go on. The fuck was that? Unbelievable, Jeff. But yeah, big up to everyone locked in. Over 400 people in here. So get these likes up to 200. I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to go and um, get a cold beer. And, um, and um, yeah, man, I'll be back in a minute. I will be back in a minute, guys.
Rob Achels. Oh, my back, man. Oh, that was better. We've back into shape, guys. Big up to Luke as well, bro. Lee, did you see Luke and striker Colton Morris was crying yesterday because they beat Bournemouth 2-1. Football is finished. He's nicking a living anyway. It's awful. I haven't seen any of the goals from yesterday. The only games I'd see yesterday was Arsenal and Man City. That was it. And then when I um, when I did the Bill Bow game, that went to extra time and penalties. And then I sat in darkness for about an hour and a half. <laughs> Literally just chilling. Spoke to Saeed for a bit and um, went to bed. And that was that, guys. I put on... Um, I think it was Northside stream. Northside stream I put on. I fell asleep in about two seconds. But yeah, man. Big up to you for the super chat as well, bro. Yo, big up to everyone locked in as well. Good pen for Rangers 2-1. Bro, both of the penalties in that game were quality. One was Penenka down the middle. And the other one, he slapped it top corner. What a penalty. Although the Rangers penalty should never have been given. That was never a penalty for me. He's nicking a living, but he's got three times Jesus goal tally, to be fair. No, well, to be fair, he has. However, um, Jesus is equally as poor, mate, this season. Palmer's off, guys. I'm quite sure why they've took him off. Unless he's injured. Wait, is the um, top Spurs game back on? Let's go, guys. We're about to... Oiberg is coming on. We're showing him on the iPad, my stream, guys. That's what they're saying. They're showing him my stream, guys. Jesus is worse. He's been awful, mate, for about a year. Left back, would you sign in the summer? Kieran Tierney. <laughs> what do you put in your spicy chicken wraps um i brought them i brought them mate from um this romanian bird around the corner i didn't even know she was romanian i thought she was spanish and then me and the missus went out to some little well i say calf it's like a little restaurant calf stroke restaurant and um she knew her and her fella <clears throat> and i was like how do you know them she goes she's romanian i know her. like I'm, i've known her for years i like, Blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh, here we go. Spurs team huddle, guys. Look at the state of this. Here we go. Werner's got to quickly hurry up and get in the get in the pack. And I was like, she's Romanian. But yeah, she's Romanian, guys. I thought she was Spanish. But um, I don't know what sauce it is. I need to ask her what sauce it is. Because that sauce, bro, I swear, was mad spicy. Yeah, that was proper hot. To the point where I had to get some milk out the fridge. Because <laughs> yeah, I was about to go live on the watch along for the Man United game, and I was like, my face is off key, bro. Like, I was like, <laughs> that's probably why I still look so red. Um, but yeah, I need to ask what sauce that is because that was proper hot. Saka sauce. <laughs> how comes, um, how comes Nottingham Forest didn't do a team huddle? I thought you're supposed to do team huddles, guys. Notice how it's only the PR clubs that are doing all this team huddle. They've got a rainbow flag in the corner of the stadium. Team huddles. No, it's only the PR clubs that are doing all this crap. The ones that don't win fuck all. Oh, hey, nuts. See you later, Werner. <laughs> you got nutmeg. <laughs> Get out of here. Nice little hill chop. We got John Cleary, man. Just tuned in for a long drive back to West Cork. Nice. Uh, love this channel. 100. Come on. Up the forest. Bosh. Big up to you, mate. Enjoy the drive. Uh, we will be there for the Chris Wood dagger. He should have scored the second. He hit the post from two, three yards out. Easier to score. But, um, but he has scored. It is 1-1, one, one, obviously. Madison's probably very fortunate that he stayed on the pitch because I ain't seen a close-up replay of it. It looked like he punched Yates in the ribs. 
Which World Cup winning team was the best? Good question. Oi, nearly a screamer. Good save. Corner to Spurs. Hoiberg nearly scored a screamer. You know, that was miles out. Took a deflection. That was a very good save. Which World Cup team was the best? I don't know, man. Any of the Brazil ones, maybe. 02, even the French one. 98 France was good. Yeah, 98 France was decent. And there we go. Goal kick. Brennan Johnson's run the ball out for a goal kick. Who knew? Does it all the time. Two thousand and ten Spain was good. Yeah, that was a good team. Ninety eight was cold though. They were they were decent. You see the Spurs fan on Pots' channel, but I don't see anything. I, I barely watch any other channels, bro. And if I do, it's when I'm ready to fall asleep. That's not a diss at their content. <laughs> it's just like, just want to put something on. Nothing on Netflix I want to watch. Go on. Chris Wood. Oh, he's missed a sitter. He was offside anyway. Oh, mate. He's missed a sitter. Was he off? Yeah, he's, he's yard off. Should have scored. He's put it a yard wide. Fucking hell, mate. He missed that. He could have had a hat trick. Well, he couldn't because that would have been ruled out for offside, but he could have had a brace. Chris Wood is a problem, guys. 2014 the Germans. Watch, watch free body problem. What's that, bro? I'm going to watch after this. I'm going to go and chill out i'm gonna go and put netflix on i'm gonna watch the rest of the city doc documentary i've got four episodes left all right verna's on the ball and brennan johnson spanked that down to the emirates guys <laughs> dead baller 50 mil how this geezer is nicking a living how both of them are nicking a living verna and uh and brennan johnson they've got a touch on it look at the state of that it came off his shin pathetic he is shit, isn't he He's probably nicking 100 grand a week and cost him 47 mil. What an absolute robbery. Absolute robbery. The man said, Lee, begging for the wood day. You dickhead. <laughs> you dickhead. <laughs> ah, dear. Chris would um, be better than Eddie and Ketty, mate. He's not a bad player. Right, top Spurs are giving it away again. Here we go. Go on, play him in. Oh, you lucky bastards. The goal's coming. Forrest are going to score soon. Brennan Johnson's giving it away again. Throw in. Joe Kinnear's passed away, has he? Big up Joe, man. He passed away. Wow. Sad times. RIP to Joe Kinnear, man. Footballing ledge. They're all dropping, man. They're all going, man. The new wave is here. Hope you're good, mate. Where's Chris Wood to Asna today? He was in my Man United stream earlier. <laughs> Old Wimbledon mayor and Newcastle manager. Newcastle fans don't like him. <laughs> they don't like him. Who, what was the player? He called him the wrong name. What, what was that? Man? That was funny. He called him the wrong name. Go on. Ah, oh, should have been a goal. Chris Wood should have scored, bruv. He should have scored. Turbo Timo is romping over halfway in a straight line. He's now going backwards. <laughs> and he's passed it 40 yards backwards. This guy's shit. These guys have got no tech whatsoever to get past a, a player. They're just running straight lines at 100 mile an hour. Chris Wood should have scored that, mate. Long throwing caused mayhem. Mayhem, guys.
I missed a fucking dagger from Tottenham as well, fucking reading that text message. For fuck's sake. Van der Ven. Nah, man. I missed it, guys. I was fucking laughing at that text message. Let's have a look at this. Somehow, some way, it's got to be offside, please. Son. Oh, fucking hell. What a fucking goal. Well, that's a mad goal. Son skanked his way to an assist out of that. Son skanked an assist out of that. Two one to the top Spurs. Like John on Arisa, yeah, he hit that proper hard, mate. Against the runner play. Do you think it's time to shift the focus from Arteta to the Cronkies? With January back in, we would have and should have been clear by now. Um, maybe, but if he had dropped 29 for the first 10 games of the season or 15 games that he played in when he was doing fuck all, we might have been clear anyway. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Playing Eddie and Ketia and that. Mad. But if we don't win anything this season, I want him gone. Get rid of it. Free kick. Well done, lad. He did well to get out of that. Nice goals today. There has been, isn't there? I don't, yeah, don't count our forest yet. Come on. Tell him, James. Tell him. Don't count our forest yet, mate. They've, uh, they've been the better team. Yep. This is why Man City will probably win it. Shot wide, goal kick, Hudson Adoy. The 1v1 demon, guys. Do anything is in spite of the Cronkies. I mean, this is why City will probably win the league. Because Liverpool ain't clinical enough. And we, um, despite looking amazing right now, and we are looking really good, we ain't got the experience to get over the line. And until we get over the line, we're always going to have doubt, aren't we? Whereas Man City, they just don't panic, man. They just chill. They're chilling. They don't panic. All right, the 1v1 demon is on the ball, guys. Let's see what he can do here. He's laid it off 20 yards backwards. He's on the ball again. This is crap. Big up Static, man. Yo, big up everyone locked in as well. Smash these likes up, guys. 250 next target. Hey, 1v1 demons cooking, bro. Look, he's taking everyone on. Maybe he is a demon. <laughs> he gave the ball. Look at the state of the quality of this game. Look at it, look. Look at the state. <laughs> look at the state of this game. That weren't a foul. Get up, man. Ah, oh, dear. Get the fuck up. Yeah, you tell him, Gibbs White. He got a northern accent, has he? Get the fuck up. He got the ball. What's wrong with that? And he's been booked for that. Got the ball. You tell him, Nuno. Yeah, fuck off. You tell him, bro. You tell him. He got the ball. There was nothing wrong with that, and he's been booked for that. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. He got the ball. Grand defend. Right, ghosts back. Ghosts back, guys. He was ghosting when it was 1 1. Half time, he popped his head in above the parapet. Van right, Van Deven's quality, though. He is good, man. Van der Ven scored the scored a banger, bruv. I can't lie. 
he scored he scored a very good goal and he streams after this no 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 more no mass i'm chilling bro i'm gonna go and watch the rest of the city documentary and i'm going to sleep get it out three one fuck's sake horror with a third bastards lucky fuckers lucky bastards well it was fun while it lasted the chicken on the ball fc a free one up now we need uh, yeah they, they cut his they, <laughs> they cut his celebration off gutted <laughs> he went to celebrate to the cameras and they put the replay up unlucky <laughs> Good finish though. Benton Core shanked his way to an assist out of that. Yeah, Benton Core's gonna get an assist for that. He called that sweet though. Nice goal. Oh, they've shown it, they've shown this celebration now. What are you what are you celebrating, bruv? What's all this all about? What's that all about? We're a family, guys. We've gone from fifth to fourth. We ain't won anything for 17 years. But don't worry, guys. We're a family. Fucking state of this pigeon on a ball team, bruv. Absolutely shameless. Shameless, man. They This team have won another for so long. And look how shameless they are. Unbelievable. Shameless bastards, bruv. <laughs> what do you mean, lucky? Have you seen the chances Chris Woods had, bruv? What other other than the goals? What have Tottenham created? Brennan Johnson had one chance to keep made a great save at one one. Other than that, what have Tottenham done? Chris Wood hit the post from two yards out. Chris Wood missed a header from two yards out. And then Van der Ven scored a screamer, and then that goal. They've had the better chances. You've just been more clinical. Spurs have dominated nothing. What have they dominated? Literally, like, I don't get it. Benton Cole got booked. He should have got booked for diving a minute ago, which got Gibbs White booked. The free three is going to hit like crack, though, lads. I can't lie. Stole Joe Felix's girl. She was cheating on him with Pedro Porro. <laughs> oh, dear. Celebration police. Bro, why, I don't understand why people shamelessly celebrate. Like, cool, celebrate a goal, but fucking hell, going up to the camera and giving it all the bigger than that. Bro, if you play for Tottenham, you've won nothing. Go on. They've won nothing for 17 years at the end of this season. 17. Hudson Adoy, 1v1 Demon. What are you going to do, bruv? Another. Wood was offside. No, there was another header he had in the first half. Wasn't the one he was offside. He had another chance in the first half. We've dominated the ball and done fuck all with it. There you go. There you go, guys. Get the Turkish Cup for now. Mate, I'm knackered. Honestly, I'm tired, man. I'm going to go and chill. From, fourth, from fifth to fourth in that, do you know what I'm saying? They're in here. We need that we need that PR goal from Son in it. That's, that's that's what they're looking for. They're looking for the PR goal from Son. Sonny with the fourth, guys. Let's go to Tottenham's cringe Twitter page. Let's see what they've put out now. Top Spurs. No, that's not the one. There it is. In fact, their, their page has actually got Son doing that celebration as the banner. Sensational Mickey van der Ven. Lolo's deft flick from Madders. Bruv, he was aiming at goal. He got lucky. 
the afflicted fucking state of English football, bro. They're trying to make out that Benton Court meant to do that. Do me a favour. Are they for real? Pedro Porro. Okay, mate. Sonny tees up Mickey, who unleashes an unstoppable strike to restore our lead. <laughs> A white heart 12 minutes ago. It's Song looking like he's about to burst into tears with Vicario cuddling him. We're a family, guys. Double switch at the interval, guys. Basuma and Sarov for Benton Corn Hoiberg. <laughs> this is how you know the PR is strong for these football clubs, for certain players they want to push. We're back up and running at the Spurs Stadium. Come on, you Spurs with a fist pump. And it's a graphic with Premier League second half, the scoreline, and then a, a graphic with Timo Werner on it. Level at the break. Mickey Van der Ven with an electricity emoji, a lightning bolt emoji. What's that all about? We're ahead with the love hearts in the eyes, guys. <laughs> Fuck off. That has got to be the cringiest Twitter account I've ever seen in my life. Yo, is there a dagger in the, in the, in the Chelsea game? No way. No way there's a dagger in the Chelsea. Oh, my days, bruv. We should have done that game. I've just seen it. McBurney. 94 minutes, 40 seconds it's been given, bruv. <laughs> From a Chelsea in the bin. There's 10 seconds of stoppage time left in that game. Goal kick to Sheffield United, guys. <laughs> that football club's ruined, isn't it? It is done. It's over, guys. They had their fun. As soon as Roman got kicked out, it's all it's all gone to its up. Tough night in Sheffield, guys. But let's see what Chelsea have tweeted out. Because they're getting equally as cringe. Proper Chelsea. Chelsea FC, there they are. They posted nine minutes ago a football emoji with lowercase x plus the a emoji for assist with a picture of Madweke cuddling Palmer pointing at him. That went well, didn't it? Goal to Sheffield United. They've then put out the, um, the cross swords emoji two, two with a blue dot. Have some fucking shame. Chelsea Football Club are a joke. Cole Palmer assist. Okay. <laughs> Absolute state of these football clubs. Back into the lead. Yes, Nonny with the fire emoji. That went well, didn't it, guys? Work to do in the second period. You mean the second half? Got a pause emoji. Unbelievable. His 100th start, Thiago Silva scored his ninth goal. Absolute state of these Twitter accounts. Loading, two hours ago, loading with the egg timer emoji, and it's a picture of Jackson. Loading what? What are you loading? Another fucking bottle job. Sunday in Sheffield with a fist pump. Fucking mate. Honestly, these Twitter accounts are an absolute disgrace. These football clubs are a disgrace. They are basically, yeah, just little fan accounts, yeah, with millions of followers. That's what they are. They're basically just football Twitter accounts. They're not football club accounts anymore. Right, we need a goal, guys. We need the free free. It's it. Now, this is crazy. I was Chelsea this dead. Mad, isn't it? It's the second period now, guys. He, him, and that. Do you know what I'm saying? She, her, and that. 
I'm not going to anyone's streams. I get demonetized. I ain't doing it anymore. I ain't doing it anymore, guys. Every time I do it, I get demonetized. I'm not doing it anymore, guys. Now, this stream's still green. The last one stayed green all the way through. So, as much as it makes good content, guys, I'm not doing it anymore. Gibbs White and Chris Wood have gone off. Now, Dominguez and Divock Origi are on. That Div Divock Origi hat trick is going to hit like smack, lads. We will be there. <laughs> How would Chelsea this bad? It's what happens, mate. What happens? How to ruin a football club in two years? All time, 2-2. Two, two. Bash! Can we beat City over two legs? I think we can. I think we can. Spursy gaffer and that, do you know what I mean? Spursy gaffer, 2-2 two, two at Sheffield United. <laughs> They go from beating Man, Man U the other night to drawing to Sheffield United. That team are tapped, bro. Chelsea ever going to be back? Not with that ownership. No chance. they got some decent players, but not that level of decent. Not that level of decent, bro. Nah, they're done. But, but, but they beat they beat United guys. Yeah, super sub Zomrov, super sub Origi. They sub Cold Palmer off, bruv. Big mistake. They subbed him off. That means Sheffield United is a better team than United, although we already knew that. <laughs> well, they've conceded less shots this um this season than Man United. Unbelievable, isn't it? But, but, but can I say that when Lavia wanted Chelsea instead of Liverpool, guys? The McBurney dagger. <laughs> I should have done that game. I should have done that. I just looked at it and I just thought, nah, Chelsea will beat them, innit? After the win the other day, they'll be pumped up, they'll go and beat them. And I thought, nah, we'll do this one. Nottingham Forest might have a go with the high line and all of that. <sighs> Enough to protect a win against the almighty Sheffield United. We need a forest goal. Make it interesting. I think Arsenal can beat Bayern 4 0 or 4 1 on Tuesday. Wow. Big up on Hay and Guna, bruv. I'm not I'm not that confident, bro. <laughs> but, uh, I'm not so sure about fours and that. Maybe ones or twos. <laughs> yeah, I'm not too sure about fours, mate. Yo, get these likes up, guys. Come on, guys. Let's go. I'm going to go and get a beer. There's your fans saying, how did we tie or lose another? All right, listen, I said this to say yesterday, yeah? I said, if Arsenal were that bad for two years, or Man United were that bad for two years, trust me, we'd be millionaires. We'd be absolutely caked. Our channels would be on fucking millions of subs. And that's the difference. Nobody gives a shit that Chelsea are that bad. Nobody cares. It's funny to laugh at them, but nobody actually genuinely cares that Chelsea are that bad. Not even just from the meltdowns, just from talking facts, bro. But if, if, if that was Arsenal or Man United, like... 
and we were doing what they've they've done for two years bro oh my days i'd be retired now <laughs> literally right the 1v1 demon is in guys where's he going he's the 1v1 demon matisse told me fuming league on a fan cams every week <laughs> Hudson Adoy is on the deck, bruv. Right, I'll be back in one sec, yeah? I'm going to go for a piss quick as well. And we're back. We're back, guys. You know, I think in terms of media, Chelsea are a big club. I just don't think anyone cares. It's just funny. Like, people care about Arsenal and Man United. Like, Arsenal and Man United have always been big. Yeah, Chelsea, I'm not saying they're not big. Of course they're big. They're massive. If nobody cares. <laughs> like, genuinely, nobody cares. And the thing is, the majority of their fans, not all, but the majority of their fans, uh, Roman Abramovich era. That's when they blew up to be this global brand. Chelsea have always been a good club. Like, always. Like, always been a cup team, really. Like, I'm very close to being good. Like, really good. And then Abramovich came in and made them great. But in 99, they finished, what, three points off the top? When, man, you did the treble. Three or four points off the top. Went all the way down to the wire, three teams. You know, like, and they were nearly good, like nearly really good. And the Brownfields just come in and just went, Psh. but they weren't the team. They were like the posh person team back in the day. They were the team that the snob fucking watched. Oh yes, I'm a Chelsea fan. Yeah, whereas Arsenal was a bit of everything. Turbo Timo is going off after dropping a zero out of ten. Actually, we give him a one out of ten because he set up the own goal. But, um, but, yeah, nobody really cares about Chelsea like that. Yeah, and then all the new fans that they've got in the last 20 odd years under Roman, so easy to brainwash them with PR. Piece of piss. Yeah, all the proper Chelsea, all the old school, yeah, that have been there before Roman Abramovich, yeah, they're all fuming. They're all fuming. Every Chelsea fan that I've spoke to out here that I've seen when I've been in the supermarket and they've got Chelsea, oh, yeah, what are you saying, mate? Oh, I fucking disgrace what they've done to our club. Blah, blah, blah. They're fuming. Yeah, it's most of these most of these younger ones that have come along Roman Abramovich era, they're happy to just fucking go with the flow, isn't it? Because they're so easily conned by the PR, most of them. We got bored with this man. My club Bruges beat Anderlecht. Bash. Big up to you, my guy. Our new manager is fixing us up after this loser. Oh, he got sacked. Yeah, he got sacked. We're winning the conference league. Bash. Big up to you, man. Yeah, Roman got done dirty proper. Chelsea 
were the OG nearly team. They were. They were they were so close to being good, like really good, and just never got there. And then Abramovich came in and just made him world class, man. But then he obviously got forced out. So now all the new a lot that were supported in that Roman era, the new fans, yeah, they're quite happy to just go with the flow now. Yeah, whereas the older lot are like, yo, hold up, wait a minute. Yeah. Like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, because they have higher standards now. Yo, the standards were up here. Roman put us up here. So now you keep them up here. Yeah, most of the younger ones, they're just happy to go with the flow. They're just happy to be, oh, well, I've seen us win the Champions League. It takes time, guys. No, it don't. Wait, that could be a red. I don't think it will be, but that could be a red. It probably shouldn't be. But, um... A bit reckless, though, wouldn't it? Fucking hell. Probably won't be. Probably shouldn't be either. But, um... The problem is with the younger fans, and it's not a disc, it's not all of them. Yeah, the problem is with the younger fans, there's a lot of them, Yeah, they because they've seen their team win stuff, they're quite happy not to see it again. They're just happy to go with the flow because it takes time and they buy into all the process crap. Yellow card. It probably shouldn't have been a red anyway. But yeah, Chelsea are dusted, mate. They're done for a very long time. A very long time. They won't be competing for titles again for the next 20 years. very long time guys he's a long way from starbucks let's have it right bosh i would do anything for pound notes <laughs> meatloaf bowley and that oh that's why i just won a trophy in literally four minutes they won this film what do you mean What do you mean? Mero Cardi, first minute. <laughs> Hundred. Hey, I'm looking now. Ten minutes in, yeah. I don't know if this stat is true. I don't know if this is just not updated on here. Yeah. This can't be right. It says ten minutes gone. One shot, one on target, one goal. Hundred percent possession. How's that work? Surely, when they kicked off after the goal, they've got the ball back. Google's Googling out, bruv. That makes no sense. Seagull merchants and that. But yeah, this is the problem with modern football. Yeah, people that are older, that have witnessed and seen it and done it and been there when it was crap, seen it be good and then hold the standards. They're not wanted in these football clubs. Look at the way these football clubs are tweeting. They're tweeting to fucking delusional, easily, um, easily manipulated fans. They've walked off. Why? They played their under-19s in protest. Well, so they let them score and then just walked off. That league's wild. I can't lie. That league is crazy. I'm gonna find this. We need a dagger. We need a we need a forest dagger, guys. Go on, go on. It's it. It's it. It's it. Fucking. Just relegate them. Four minutes, 25 seconds. All right, let's have a look at this. All right, so they scored inside 50 seconds. There's hardly anyone in the stadium. Imagine getting to a cup final and then forfeiting it. <laughs> no, fair play. You've got to rate it, man. You have to rate it, guys. Let me get that off before I get done for copyright. Fuck me. Balls. I 
That's crazy. Walks off and quit. That's mad. <laughs> that league's wild. <laughs> that league is insane. Wasn't that the league where the um, the manager went and punched up the ref? <laughs> it will go down Luton or Forest. Luton, bro. We need a Forest goal to make it interesting. Zola left while Chelsea were being bought by Roman. I just wanted to buy a club that Zola went to Chelsea. He was mad. Yeah, he tried to buy him back. I watched him on um, Simon Jordan podcast the other day. He said that they tried to get him back. Ken Bates phoned him up and said, no, you have to stay. So I've already given my word, mate. So he left. Why well, no La Liga this week? Copa del Rey weekend, mate. Copa del Rey final yesterday, so they all have a weekend off. I hope to see Coventry make the playoffs. I'm sick and tired of these bums. Norwich, Watford and West Brom coming up. Yeah, facts. I need to shake this off, man. This is mad, is she? Ah, dear. When's the missus back? I don't know, man. I spoke to her earlier. And she ain't even booked a flight yet. Two weeks tomorrow she's been gone. I don't need to imagine getting to a cup final. Spurs did that in Champions League and the League Cup. <laughs> Greek football is crazy as well. Yes, yeah, true. We won the Copa um, at Lake Bilbao. One on penalties. Country of Swiss and Leicester. I want Leeds up, man. I want Leeds to come up. Now that one can realise what an immense job Roman and his institution he, he was a quality owner, man. Unbelievable. Smash Lee just though didn't naff. All right, son, save one to the post. He nearly got his um his goal after ghosting the whole game. Another Midlands club to go to so I can go. <laughs> hey, smash these likes up, people. Come on. 300 likes is required. 300 is required, guys. I'll have a video dropping on the uh, main channel later. No lunging and plunging. Nah, man. Just chilling and working. Just chilling and working, man. This lot are just crap, isn't they? Just relegating. Relegate half the league. They're crap. Relegate them all. Ah, oh, dear. Why are the top spurs leaving? Did you see the top spurs? They're all leaving. Why are they leaving? Clown, Clown Lake destroyed Chelsea mid table again and again. Next season, they'll wake up. So it dusted. It's over. It is over, mate. It is Poch Tactics, Palmer, and Inshallah. Facts. Zero Tactics, 100% Palmer. <laughs> <laughs> This lot could still be playing a week Tuesday and they ain't going to score. Got to get on the Metro. <laughs> yeah, they got to get home, man. They got to get home. Beat the traffic and that. What a load of rubbish.
Spurs are scintillating and top four. The top four race is heating up. Two and a half to go, guys. Free kick. We need this in. We need this in, guys. Forest robbed is the title, guys. What were they robbed of? What were, what were Forrest robbed off, guys? Have I missed something here? Over the bar, goal kick. Havertz is the missing piece. Is Minerals going live, is he? We'll redirect to Minerals after this. How have Forrest been robbed? What did, what did Forrest get robbed off, guys? Have I, lost, uh, have I been lost? Have I missed something when I went to the bathroom or something? Why can't I not find this channel? Fucking does this all the time. What time's he going live, Johnny Minerals? There he is. What time's he going live? Quarter past nine. Okay. No, what, 25 minutes? Yeah, he should have been sent off in the first half. So how does that make Forrest robbed? <laughs> how was Palace robbed? Do you know what I'm saying? I don't get it. What have I missed? Eclipse watch along tomorrow. <laughs> there an eclipse, is there? Let's have a look. Where's the eclipse, guys? Where's it going to be? Mexico, Pacific Coast, around 11.07 a.m. PDT. Then travels across the swath of the U.S. from Texas to Maine and into Canada. About 31.6 million people who live in the path. Totality in the area where we're five. Okay, cool. Well, we ain't staying awake for that then because we ain't going to see it, guys. What happened to Jed Spence? I think he's on loan in Turkey or somewhere. And uh, they're zooming in on, um, hey, look at that, the two owners. <laughs> With the chicken on the ball, bruv. Look, the chicken on the ball, look here. They've got their Tottenham back. Six minutes. They've got their Tottenham back, guys. idea what he is yeah madison looked like he punched him in the ribs though you know, i need to see another replay of it it looked like madison jabbed him in the ribs pause what's the bleeding cracked l boy Confused us. Galatasaray are playing against Galatasaray right now. Is this for real?
Like, what is going on, bro? Tell me, talk to me. What the fuck is this? Just gone on Twitter and it says Galatasaray is playing against Galatasaray right now. What is that all about? There's Danny Drinkwater. Illinois is in a state of an emergency. What? Why? Why? What happened? See, I don't see all this shit, bro. Like, I'm, I'm not active like this. Six minutes of stoppage time. I won't get back. Do you know what I mean? Just put me out of my misery. I'm fucking. My eyes are killing me. Still need to record a video for the other channel. They're playing against the but they've already won the trophy. So why are they playing? They've already won the cup, so why are they playing, guys? I don't get it. The 1v1 demon is cooked. And then crossed it to no one. Big up, Daryl, man. Just landed in Brussels. My French is me. <laughs> are you doing a tour of the world, bro? Is this what you're doing? Like, you're everywhere. They're doing it for the fans. I'm baffled, bro. That league's wild. Two minutes to go. And then I'm going to record a video quick on the other channel. And then I'm turning all these little lights off, guys. Too much rose tint in your glasses. <laughs> what a load of rubbish. No daggers, guys. No daggers. I ain't seen anything, bro. Taiwan's got natural. I ain't seen any of this, bro. I don't go on the internet. Like when I'm on the internet, I'm working. Other than that, I'm barely on it. Literally, barely on it. Too busy, man. I don't have Twitter on my phone. I barely look at TikTok. Halimi runs that for me. I'm very, very rarely. First time in about two months or so. I went on that yesterday. Other than that, I'll go on Instagram maybe once or twice a day. And then I'll just watch a bit of YouTube here and there. And that's about it. Shot over the bar. Just blow the whistle. As soon as Saka home shirt signed, going for 800 quid. It was probably on the Arsenal website. I don't even have TikTok. I don't blame you. It's full of weirdos. Mutants. Blow the whistle, guys. Portland 3 0 down at half time. Phil Neville in the bin. <laughs> in the basura. In the basura. Betty Alamiada, you di puta. That kind of sums up the game. Blow the whistle, guys. That's it. It's all over. Finally. Jesus Christ. TikTok brain is a thing. Yep. It is a thing. TikTok brain. 10 second attention span. Look how happy they are. Look how happy the top spurs are. What are they, what are they celebrating? What are they celebrating, guys, from going fifth to fourth? Mad thing. Mad. Anyway, I'm going to go and record a video, and I'm going to turn all these lights off. Um, we're going to redirect to Johnny Minerals. He's going live in 15 minutes. Uh, so make sure you go there for the prime epic viewing from proper Chelsea. Proper Chelsea, guys. Proper. 
somebody that actually gets it. Um, but yeah, make sure you go and check his stream out. Havertz, the missing piece, rant in the title. I said his name, Barsh. But yeah, big up to everyone who's locked in all day, man. Appreciate you all. Um, Celtic, 3-3 free free with Rangers. Or Rangers, 3-3 free free with Celtic. Um, man United, the prey along worked, guys. And then top Spurs obviously did what they had to do. It is what it is. We can't, we can't always win, guys. Can't always get the daggers. But yeah, man. Uh, big up to everyone inside. I'm back again with Saeed tomorrow, midday live. I'll be back for the podcast tomorrow. I'll be dropping a video on here tomorrow. And then I'm chilling because there's no football tomorrow. Well, there is, but I ain't doing the Italian League. It's dead. So uh, yeah, man. Big up to everyone who's been here all day, part of the day, some of the day, dipped in and out. All of you are mad. I love you all, man. Appreciate you. Even the mutants that drop in and out here and there. But yeah, I need to bounce. I'm going to go and do this video on the Arsenal channel, the League Honor channel. And um, yeah, man, I'll see you for midday live with Saeed tomorrow. We're out. Love. Come on. Top of the league. Seven to go. Let's go, guys.